Hi, hello and welcome in our video. In this video we will dive a little deeper and we will be talking about one very specific feature. We will be talking about link by attribute function that can automatically create, update or delete one or more links between artifacts based on values in the attributes of the artifact. This will be step by step video that can help you to understand the process in detail. As it is apparent from the name, the link creation process is using values from the attribute to create links. Those values are simple strings. By default, we don't have any attribute created for this function or for this reason, so we will need to create a custom one. Link by attribute is a really excellent feature when you need to work with large number of links. And it doesn't matter if you would like to delete them or create them or to change them. Whenever you need to work with large number of links at the same time, link by attribute is excellent function. But the main use case for using link by attribute is when you are migrating or importing large number of artifacts that are linked together. If you are using Excel, the link information is represented as numbers. You can write scripts to clean this information to have just numbers. Those are module ID together with artifact ID. And then you can use this information to recreate the links. So if you need to import or if you need to migrate large number of artifacts that are linked together and you have Excel file for this, then link by attribute can save your day. Great. Let's now go through simple exercises so you can see how link by attribute works. Before we begin, we need to create custom attribute for link by attribute functionality because, as I said, we don't have any predefined attribute for this. So to create one, go up here to settings, choose manage component properties, choose artifact attribute, click on new attribute, and I will call it LBU, but it can be named whatever you would like. All right, then choose string. Excellent. And that's all. We can hit save. Great. So we have artifact attribute that can be used with link by attribute. But to use those artifact attributes with artifact types, you need to assign them for those artifact types. So I will be mainly using information, system requirement and stakeholder requirement. So I will do the same process three times. So I will add this attribute to information, save. I will add this attribute to stakeholder requirement. And I will add this attribute to system requirement. Excellent. Now I will jump back to the module and I will add this column here. So LBU, perfect. I also quickly deleted all the links so they don't distract us. And in the first exercise, I would like to connect this first artifact with any artifacts in systems requirement specification and this second artifact with another two artifacts from system requirement specification. We will use two different methods how you can connect the links. Method number one, we need to add IDs of artifacts on the other side here to LBU attribute. So I need to navigate to systems requirement specification and I need to note down, for example, this ID and this ID. I added it into the notepad and I will go back here and write it here. Excellent. So ID of the first artifact, ID of the second artifact. I will just hit OK. It's very, very simple. This is option number one. Just add IDs of artifacts on the other side here to this LBU attribute. The second option is similarly simple. So you need to go again to systems requirement specification and note down those two artifacts. But in this case, you don't only need those IDs, but you will also need this ID up here. So ID of the module. If you have it, you can navigate back to the stakeholder requirement specification. And now I would like to connect this artifact to those two artifacts from systems requirement specification. I will navigate to LBU, but now the representation is like this. 
So this is the ID of the module systems requirement specification. And this is the ID of specific artifact. Again, ID of the module, ID of the specific artifact. All right, I will hit OK. Now I just need to select those two artifacts, click on this icon and choose link by attribute for two artifacts. We have now a couple of options here. First is to create links for all IDs in the attribute. This is exactly what we are looking for. But let's also cover the rest of them. So you can remove links that don't have matching ID. What does it mean? That if you have, for example, already three links, but you have just one string in LBU representing one link, then two links that are not represented here will be removed. You can also add IDs to the attribute for each link of the specified type. So you would go to all module, you as a program, you would go to all module and for each, I don't know, satisfies, you would add ID here. And you also can remove IDs that don't have matching link. So this is again great for removing. Therefore, if you have two links, but three IDs, then the program will compare links with IDs. And if there are IDs that don't match any of those links, the ID will be deleted. All right, but for our purposes, let's focus on create links for all IDs in the attribute. So we will choose attribute, we need LBU, and then we will choose link type. So we will use satisfied by, excellent. And now I will hit okay. I will refresh. And you see the links were created. We can also navigate to the second module and you see the links were created. This is very important place where I would like to describe what is a difference between using just artifact ID and between using artifact ID together with module ID. When you are using just artifact ID, you see we created base links. So we are linking base artifact with this specific module artifact. When you are linking with module ID dot artifact ID, you are linking two module artifacts together. So that's a really big difference. In the videos, I already went through module versus base artifact rabbit hole a couple of times. So if you would like to know more, what is difference between module and base artifact, just Google soft tackles module and base artifact, and you should find this link. In this article, I summarized everything that is important to know about the difference between module and base artifacts. The important summary is this, module and base artifacts are not the same. Links between module and base artifacts are not the same. If you don't know the difference between module artifact and base artifact, and you don't know what link should you choose, I can safely tell you that maybe 90% of the time you should choose this module link. Why? Because majority of the time you are working on artifacts in the module. So you would like to connect two module artifacts together. That's why you should use those module links. Therefore, when you are using link by attribute, the safe way would be using this one. Therefore, module ID dot artifact ID, not just artifact IDs. So that was example number one. Very simple example where we, with just few clicks, link two artifacts with another four artifacts using link by attribute and those IDs. Now I would like to connect maybe 10 artifacts with a few clicks because this was great but I would like to expand this exercise and not use just clicking on the artifacts, but I would like to create view and the link whole view with artifacts on the other side based on link by attribute. The example will be simple. I will use link from link type, and then I will link maybe 10 artifacts with another 10 to 12 artifacts from here and I will use module links. So I will just write down the artifact IDs and module ID, and then I will write it here to LBU. So I will use all those artifact IDs from chapter 3.1.1. .1 .1. All right, so I've written them down 
to Notepad. And now I will navigate to Stakeholder Requirements module. And here, one by one, I will add those IDs to LBU. In some artifacts, I will use two IDs at the same time to create two links. On another artifact, I will use just one. I will speed up the process in a video. Just one note, I will also use artifact IDs here in this LBU artifact. I will just add module IDs here and I will use them for link from link type creation. All right, so that was very simple, very self-explanatory process. I just linked some artifacts here with artifacts from systems requirement specification. Now we need to create view with a filter. So the filter should be, please show me all artifacts with LBU attribute. All right, no problem. Just click here on the filter, find LBU, click here and choose exists. So if there is some value in LBU artifact, show it to me. Add and close. You see here we have just artifacts with LBU value. We have 12 artifacts here. Now we will save this view link by attribute. I will leave everything as default. It's okay. And now by clicking on this icon near the view, you see you can use link by attribute and you have the exactly same menu. So I would like to create links for all IDs in the attribute. Use LBU attribute, but now use link from. Excellent, okay. Refresh. And you see we created links with really just a couple of clicks. Very simple, very easy. The last scenario I would like to cover is how you can delete artifacts using link by attribute function. And you already saw that if I will use link by attribute, I have this option here, remove links that don't have matching IDs. So it's very simple. I can go here to LBU and delete some strings and those links should be also deleted. Okay, let's do that. So I will delete this artifact here so one link here i can delete both of them but very important if i would now click on ok then this link by attribute wouldn't work with this artifact why because it's working with view and in this view we have filter and in this filter we have show me all artifacts that have some string in lbu but this artifact wouldn't have any string in LBU, so it wouldn't be in a view. So link by attribute wouldn't be used on this one. So we need some string here, for example, placeholder. So yeah, it's no ID information here, but it will still be in a view because it's matching filter. There is something in this attribute. All right, and I can uh, show it, for example, with this one because this is table okay now it's saved and if i will refresh you see now there is no table here it's not matching the filter and the table will still have its link we can verify it later all right i will also delete this one Also that one. All right, and I think that's more than enough. So I choose one, two, three, four, five links to delete. Let's do that. So I will click again on this, choose link by attribute, choose remove links that don't have matching ID. We can leave it as is because it's still correct information and click on OK. 
all right that's okay this is exactly what we wanted so i will click on refresh and you see those placeholders they don't have any links associated here again here and here we had two links now there is just one link all right this is all i wanted to show you in this video it is just tip and trick how you can work with multiple links at the same time if you anytime will need to bulk change links or bulk add links or delete many links at the same time then first functionality that will come to your mind should be link by attribute it's excellent out of the box functionality that you can use all right thank you very much for your attention i really hope this video was informative for you and i look forward to see you in our next videos